my beloved child. I am the one who keeps your lamp burning. I turn your darkness into light. There are moments when weariness and burdens threaten to extinguish your lamp. It flickers and sputters, almost running out of fuel. In those times, call out to me. Breathe deeply in my presence and remember that I am the one who fuels your lamp. I am your strength. I am also your light. Keep turning towards me, allowing the glory of my presence to saturate you. My radiant beauty brightens your life and shifts your perspective. When you turn away from me and forget that I'm with you, your world appears dark. Yes, this world is deeply fallen and darkness abounds. But I am the light that continues to shine in the darkness. Do not be afraid, my child. Trust me wholeheartedly, even when things seem gloomy, and I will transform your darkness into light. When planning and problems consume your thoughts, turn to me and whisper my name. Let the light of my presence shine upon you as you revel in my unfailing love. Thank me for watching over you always and loving you eternally. Affirm your trust in me, express your devotion to me, and ask me to illuminate the way forward. Deal with your problems as needed, but do not let worry or fear dominate your thoughts. Keep returning your focus to me, and I will illuminate your perspective. Immerse your mind and heart in scripture. Read it. Study it and memorize verses that resonate with you. My word is a lamp to guide your steps and a light to illuminate your path. By following these guidelines, your preoccupation with planning and problems will diminish, making space for more of me. Delight in the joy of my presence. Seek my face always. I encourage you to let your heart rejoice when you seek me. Picture a deeply in love couple. When the man visits his beloved, she doesn't casually say, oh, it's you. He doesn't ignore her and ask, do you have something to eat? No, their hearts leap with joy because they are together. You are my beloved and I am the eternal lover of your soul. Rejoice in the astounding affection I have for you. Glorify my holy name, which is above every name. You can use it freely to commune with me and joyously worship me. You have the privilege of easy access to me. Some people take pride in their wealth, achievements, beauty, or fame. But I invite you to take joy in me, your Savior, Lord, and Lover. Glorifying me will strengthen and delight you, infusing your prayers with power and your heart with joy. Never underestimate the power of prayer. When people feel discouraged and hopeless, they sometimes say, there's nothing left to do but pray. But this is not a feeble last resort, it's a powerful connection with me. I designed humanity to communicate with me. Even when sin entered the world, I didn't withdraw this incredible privilege. When I walked among you as a man, I relied heavily on prayer to my father. I understood how much I needed his help. Persistent, heartfelt prayer blesses not only you but also your family, friends, church, and even your country. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you pray effectively. Find others to join you in seeking my face with humility and repentance. Beseech me to heal your land. Wait in my presence. Spending time with me brings spiritual, emotional, and physical benefits. Yet many of my children think it's a luxury they can't afford. They crave rest and quietness, but continue in their fast-paced lives. I want you to rearrange your priorities to make room for restful times with me. I will refresh your soul and strengthen you for the journey ahead. Be of good courage. Living in this broken world demands bravery. Since bravery isn't natural for most, you will need my help to be strong and courageous. Despite the alarming events, you don't have to be terrified or discouraged. Train your thoughts to focus on me repeatedly. Find comfort in my promise to be with you wherever you go. Continue to be courageous, looking to me for strength. I will fortify your heart. 
I am your living Lord, your rock, your Savior God. Meditate on my greatness and my unwavering commitment to you. In a culture where commitment is often fleeting, know that I am your forever friend and the eternal lover of your soul. You are securely held in my love. Instead of dwelling on troubles, remember who I am. I am your living Lord, your unchanging rock, and your Savior God. Because I am everlasting, my death on the cross for your sins secures your salvation completely. Don't fear that I'll stop loving you based on your performance. It is my goodness and righteousness that keep you secure in my love. Let my unwavering commitment to you be a source of comfort as you navigate this troubled world. One day you will dwell with me in paradise. Come eagerly into my passionate presence, inviting me to satisfy you with my unfailing love. The morning right after you awaken is the best time to seek my face. Connecting with me early sets the tone for your day. My boundless love is profoundly satisfying. It reminds you of your worth and significance. It assures you that together we can face the challenges of the day. Knowing you are forever loved energizes you and grants you the courage to persevere through difficulties. Meeting. My loving presence in the morning equips you to sing for joy and be glad. Consider the incredible privilege of meeting with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in the privacy of your home. Rejoice that your name is inscribed in the Lamb's Book of Life, etched indelibly. Take time to savor my presence. Speak or sing praises, read scripture, and pray. Delight in the truth that nothing in all creation can separate you from my love. Before you call, I will answer. While you are still speaking, I will hear. I understand that sometimes you feel alone, lost in the darkness. You continue to pray because it's the right thing to do. But you wonder if your prayers make any difference. In those moments, remember who I am, the King of Glory. I transcend time and past, present, and future are all the same to me. That's why I can answer before you even call out to me. No prayer of yours goes unheard or unanswered. Sometimes the answer is no or not yet. Other times, I answer in ways you cannot see, for my wisdom surpasses your understanding. Ponder the wonders of my infinite intelligence and revel in my endless love for you. If you persist in this intimate adoration, you will know beyond a doubt that you are never alone. You are mine, my beloved. My compassions never fail. They are new every morning. So start each day with confidence, knowing that my blessings are abundant. This knowledge helps you wait for me, entrusting your long unanswered prayers into my care. I assure you that not one of those petitions has escaped my notice. I want you to drink deeply from my fountain of limitless love and unfailing compassion. As you wait in my presence, these divine blessings are freely available to you. Even though many of your prayers remain unanswered, find hope in my great faithfulness. I keep all my promises in my perfect way and timing. I promise to grant you peace that can dispel the troubles and fears in your heart. If impatience sets in, remember that I also wait for the moment when you are ready to receive the blessings I have lovingly prepared for you. Blessed are all those who wait for me. I am training you in patient endurance. This lesson isn't for the faint of heart, but it's a rich blessing. One aspect of sharing in my kingdom and my suffering. My kingdom is eternal and of infinite value. I've made it clear that sharing in my sufferings is necessary for sharing in my glory. Moreover, this experience produces real benefits in your character. Patient endurance can only be developed through hardship. Embrace the very problem you dread. Bring it into my presence with thanksgiving, acknowledging your willingness to endure it. 
as long as I see fit. Ask me to take that dark, ugly thing and transform it into something beautiful. I can weave strands of glory into the most heart-wrenching situations. It may take time for the lovely pattern to emerge, but this waiting builds patience. Rejoice, beloved, for I am refining your character until it shines with the light of my glory. I am the living one who sees you always. I see into the depths of your being. Not one of your thoughts escapes my notice. My intimate awareness of everything about you means that you are never alone, whether in good times or struggles. I also want to cleanse your thoughts of their sinful tendencies. When you find yourself thinking in a loveless, hurtful way, confess it to me immediately. Ask me not only for forgiveness, but also for transformation. You don't need to plead for grace as if you had to convince me to extend it to you. I endured a torturous execution and separation from my father to remove your sins as far as the east is from the west. I delight in forgiving you. Remember that I see you clothed in radiant garments, my perfect righteousness. I already see the glorious vision you will become when heaven becomes your eternal home. Whoever believes in me does not believe in me, only but in the one who sent me. When you look at me, you see the one who sent me. I came into the world not only to be your savior, but also to help you see the Father more clearly. He and I always work in perfect unity. As I proclaimed when I taught in the temple in Jerusalem, I and my Father are one. So when you strive to live close to me, fixing your eyes on me, you are by no means ignoring my Father. The Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is a wonderful gift to you, even though it remains a mystery beyond your comprehension. This three-in-one God greatly enriches your prayer life. You can pray to the Father in my name, speak directly to me, and the Holy Spirit is always available to help you in your prayers. Don't be troubled by the mysteries of the Godhead. Instead, respond with joyous praise and adoration. My dear child, I hope these words touch your heart deeply and remind you of the boundless love and grace I have for you. Know that you are cherished, protected, and never alone. I am with you always, offering you my unfailing love and guidance. Rejoice in my presence, find strength in my promises, and trust in my perfect plan for your life. Amen.